Hi everyone, welcome to July Empties. I don't have a whole lot, but I have some makeup and that always makes me happy and proud. So for hair products, I love the Suave Moroccan and folks have told me the pink bottled one is the same and I think it is the same. I'm not as picky about my shampoos as I am my conditioner. So if they don't have this one in a shampoo, I'll buy whatever one. But I love this conditioner. It's really good. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have many razor blades in my empties till now. I, if you're interested, let me know. I have had my legs lasered and you have to get them touched up. And it's getting to that time when I need to get them touched up. So I could film a video on that if you're interested. I don't like hair and I use these super sharp double-edged blades. These are the Wilkinsons, but I'll use whichever ones I can get. And I have a great razor. It's from Germany. It is, in my opinion, the best razor. It's a Mercure and I'll link it down below. And I have a silver and a gold of theirs. I only like the silver one. Go figure. But this keeps me smooth until I get in. When I get in, I love having no hair. And your showers are so quick. Mark is always biking me. He's always saying, that wasn't a shower. Because you go in and you soap up and you rinse off and you're done. There's nothing to shave. <laughs> so... Um, Tom's toothpaste. I was looking for a no fluoride toothpaste and this ends up having SLS. So it's like, ah, not good. I have gotten onto the Hello Fresh. There's the coconut one and I really enjoy that. So that's probably going to be my new regular toothpaste. I only have one supplement because I'm hardly taking any supplements. Monolaurin. Love it for your brain health, for surrounding the bad bacteria. Just in so many ways, coconut is so good for you. This is a single chain because it's mono versus the tri chain. So I still try to cook with coconut and get it in in other forms. But coconut is just so healthy and I get Mark to take it as well because for Alzheimer's and things like that, I want to be preventative. For skincare, I just have a couple items. This Olay Age Defying, this is really nice. This is the classic daily renewal one. Something about it, the way it sits on your skin, really, really nice. I enjoyed this a lot, and I also used it at night um, as the last step in my skincare routine. This Ordinary AHA, BHA, love it. Uh, it's the one that goes on red, which I'm not fond of, but at least you can see where it is. And you have to work your way up. When I use this once to twice a week, I love how my skin looks. It's much more glowing, fresher. It just closes the pores. This along with my Neutrogena skin exfoliator um, that I'll link below. Love both of those. And then the final skincare item is the sheet mask from my Facebook group, The Masking Mondays. And I probably won't buy sheet masks anymore. To me, it's kind of gimmicky. If I can't put it on and rinse it off, then, or put it on and leave it on, I'd rather use something that is doing something for my skin. Okay, we're going to have a sample section. Remember I met a bunch of girlfriends at my work event and we traded little goodie bags and they were all so amazingly thoughtful. So here are some of the items I got. This Clarins Double Serum and Double Eye. I don't know why Clarins did this because it is literally one use in each of these packets and it says it's seven days to see change. Okay, I'll take their word for it. <laughs> you wouldn't know it from one use. I don't know why they gave those out. This is Tanologist, and I thought I would be very interested in this because I love self-tanning. It's face and body drops and you put it in a moisturizer. Didn't care for it. It's not anything great. I'll show you what is great in a minute. This MAC Studio Fix Primer, I like my e.l.f. personally. Um, this Tarte, I love the tape shape. And this was great because I'm obviously going much darker to match my tanned body. And I'm using up one that's like in fair or something. And I thought, well, I don't know what color I would be. 
I could do tan deep honey or medium tan sand. Both of those were beautiful on me. So this was just a little one that you open and you grabbed and you put on your under eye. It shows you how little of this product you need. But I, I loved it because now I can see what color I will use in future. And then they gave me two perfume samples. Gucci Floral, which I love. I'm still enjoying the last of that. And this Ocean Prada, which I did not love. So it is going to be used on my vacuum cleaner filter. I use perfumes that I don't care for. Or even if I do, I take the lowest one on the grading pole and use that because it leaves your house so fresh and nice when you vacuum. This is the tanning product that I love. It's tanned AF. You literally spray it on. I'll see if there's any left in here. There's a little bit. And then you rub it in. And usually I use mitts. You know, I'll have to wash this hand. They say to wash it off after an hour. I usually have a shower, dry myself off, spray and apply this, and it's just so easy. And I have white carpets underneath me here, and I didn't have to worry about spraying it or it getting everywhere. It darkens over time. I, after I shower and I put this on, leave it on until the next day when I shower. So I don't worry about washing it off. And I love it. Now, it is a little bit dry, so I love my hemp bronzing glow. I'll have to link it below. Um, I get it at Walmart. You can get, I think, $5 a piece they are, and they last quite a long time. Now, that's moisturizing. So when I use this, the next day I'll use the hemp. I don't use the hemp as often anymore because I don't need to get it dark. I just use it for a moisturizer. And if I use it the next day, then my skin is nice and supple. For my Kiss Nails Super Glue, two for a dollar, two for a dollar twenty-five from the no longer a dollar store. And then my Kiss Nails, I always get the white French tip in medium, everlasting French. Love these. I need medium because I have a very long fingernail and a long curved nail bed. The smalls would fit, but they lift up. So these ones are a much better fit for my fingers. We're down to the makeup, which makes me super happy. This Revolution Eye Bright. It's a concealer. It was very nice. Not amazing. I think my Maybelline Age Rewind is better and a much better price. It has nice packaging, but it wasn't worth the price. I think it was 10 or $12, and the Age Rewind is 6 or 8 and I love my Age Rewind, so I'm staying with that. This Wet n Wild Cloud Pout, it was like a moussey gloss is the best way that I can describe it. I like the color. It doesn't last, it doesn't stay, and I would just rather use my Rimmel glosses. They're just as good. This Wet n Wild Retractable Waterproof Breakup Proof... Is it Breakup Proof? How can you break up? And this will prevent it. I don't know. <laughs> this gel eyeliner, I really loved it. It's really good. I'm using up an LA Girl one now, and that one is really good. I like these retractable ones or the sharpened ones. I'm also trying to use up a gel one as part of my use up that I don't think I would repurchase. It's a Maybelline one. It's good, but I'm just not into gels. I'm more into the pencils. Another foundation. If you saw my makeup use up, I've used up like some crazy number, like seven. Now a lot of those were started last year. This one was started last year. This is a sand beige. And it took a while for me to finish it because I mixed it a lot with other things. It is quite yellow. Medium beige is more of my color, but I enjoyed it and I love these Maybellines. The only thing I would say about them is this spout gets clogged and you have to open it up with like a pin or a paper clip and get all the gunk out of there. If you don't and you have your um, sponge that you're pumping this onto to apply, it can suddenly squirt in a really strange direction and get all over everywhere. Take it from me. Keep that little nozzle unclogged. And then the last thing I used up, but I've already replaced it. I try to not replace things if I have more, and I obviously have a lot more lip products, 
But there are two of the Maybelline Superstay Mattings that I love. One is Revolutionary, which is on my lips right now. And the second is this one, which is Self Starter, which is an orange. And a tip is when you use these, this is obviously used up and dry, the middle little hole there gets completely filled with the product. I wipe it off and then apply it, smoosh my lips together and let it dry. But my two favorite colors are Revolutionary and Self Starter. I'm trying to use up some of the other ones that I would not repurchase, but it's hard when I love those two so much. So that was all my empties. I hope maybe you picked up a tip or two, and thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I always appreciate it, and I hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.